going on, everyone? Let the tanking for Bronny James begin. However you feel about Bronny James, many people are on the fence. Many people think that he's going to be a great NBA talent. Others say not so much. Either way, it doesn't matter. He's the son of arguably the greatest player ever in LeBron James, and therefore people are going to want to draft him, especially when you get him along with his father, LeBron James. Now, it has been known for some time that LeBron has wanted to play in the NBA with his son, Bronny, and that LeBron has stated in the past that whatever team gets Bronny in the draft, he will likely go to at some point in his career. Again, today, it is NBA All-Star Weekend, and LeBron reiterated that same statement that his last season will be with Bronny James. It may even be a couple seasons, but most likely what the team that drafts Bronny is going to get is they are going to get a 40-year-old LeBron James and Bronny James. Now, 40-year-old LeBron is yet to be seen, but given his track record, even at age 37, shows that he might have something in the tank, that he might actually still be a quality player. Now, that doesn't mean that he'll be, you know, arguably the best in the entire league or up there, uh, but he could be a very serviceable player, and just his brain, his knowledge, his intangibles, what you'd get to a young team, because any team that's going to draft Bronny is a tanking team that is going to have young players and that valuable player on the sideline in the games that has been there has won championships has grown and developed players he is going to be in you know invaluable to a franchise not just that but even just the the ticket sales you know butts in the seat so on and so forth I mean the the marketing behind a father and son duo would be astronomical. I mean, you'd, you'd make a ton of money. You'd have tons of people wanting to see that, you know, collaboration. It hasn't been done before, and it would just be so much fun to see. And so right then and there, any team is looking two years down the line that is a, you know, lesser caliber team, you know, is in the tanking conversation at this time, is very likely going to be somewhere in that area two years from now. So the plan is, you know, you tank for Bronny, you're going to get LeBron. And right then and there, does that is LeBron still good enough to, you know, power a team and get them to maybe not the promised land, but at least, you know, to the playoffs in the first year? Like, is that something that LeBron would still be able to do at 40 years old, which would be an incredible feat? I mean, you could argue that would be one of the greatest feats ever in sports, let alone in a basketball you know organization i mean that is that that is something that just hasn't happened yet you know most players when they reach the age that lebron's at really start to tank and start to fall off and even become role players so on and so forth we saw it with players like vince carter dirk nowinski you know players like that they just completely fell off but lebron has so far beaten time which is undefeated in the moment and that doesn't mean that eventually you know time will catch up to him but two years from now I don't think is unrealistic to see him being you know a, a quality player you know not top five or anything like that but he I think he is good enough smart enough and skilled enough that he especially now that he's developed a quality shot he easily could play and plug in you know 15 to 20 minutes a game as you know, your starting point guard or center or power forward or, you know, any position, really, you plug him in, you let him play, it, it'd be for good show. But if he has it in the tank, then he's he's very well could take your team to a, a deep playoff run or at least to the playoffs, which would be invaluable again for a young team. You get to see just that that uh, camaraderie between father and son that just hasn't been displayed before in the NBA. It's just it's a win win for Bronny, it's a win-win for all of the young players on that team. It's a win-win for LeBron himself as well as the organization. You know, so I really think it's a huge possibility. Now, will you get LeBron for a year or two or three? I, I don't know. I mean, that that just depends on what state LeBron is in. And if it's just a, you know, hey, I want to retire, but I just want to play with my son one time kind of thing. Also, I think it really comes down to the, the Lakers situation and where he's at. Or even he mentioned the return to Cleveland. You know, where is Cleveland at? Because that's a big thing too. Like he, he still has another year on his contract with the Lakers. And if they are anywhere where they are this year and they don't magically pull a rabbit out of their hat and win a championship in the next year or two, then I don't think I really could see LeBron going and leaving. But if the Lakers, whatever, for whatever reason, figure out the Russell Westbrook situation, they end up making it to the playoffs, 
and they end up winning a championship. Again, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but let's say it does. Let's say that, you know, this team that they said was built for the playoffs really does deliver in the playoffs. They end up winning a championship uh, because I do think that they match up very well against most teams in the West. So I think that if things go right and you have a healthy LeBron and AD, you can't really count them out. And if Westbrook somehow wakes up, you know, there's the, you know, Westbrook, the playoff Westbrook and the all-star post all-star break Westbrook, where he just kind of shifts into another gear. If that happens and they win a championship, then, you know, maybe he doesn't go and play with Bronny until he, you know, falls off or the team falls off. And then by that point, he's just kind of like there just for, you know, marketing purposes. I think that that's a real possibility. Uh, but if he's in a state where the Lakers are kind of in turmoil and they don't really ha- aren't a contender or anything like that, and Bronny goes to a team, like not even like a team like, you know, OKC or something like that, but like, let's say he goes to a team like, like Houston, who has some nice young players, is a is a market that people have wanted to go to in the past and have gone to. And you get LeBron and maybe you get another, maybe he could compete for a championship. Maybe he could compete for a title. Uh, you know, the Detroit Pistons, they they have, you know, Cade and and if they get Bronny and then you get LeBron, you know, maybe, maybe they can develop. Uh, well enough to at least be a be in the conversation of one of the quality playoff teams. It just really comes down to where LeBron's at at that point in his career. Uh, but showing on example this year, I mean, he's 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 not taking over games the way he used to, but he's still a guy that's producing incredible stats and incredible numbers. And I don't see that falling off. Uh, in the next, you know, year or two, maybe, maybe not his explosiveness, maybe not, you know, his, his ability to just completely win games like we saw with Utah, but I definitely think he could be a, you know, 20 point a game guy just on his brains and skill set alone, uh, which is very invaluable. But as always, this is a discussion. So I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, do you think that he would go and play with Bronny. Do you think that, hey, yeah, these teams need to tank because not only are you getting Bronny, who could be a potential star, but you're also getting his father, and that is invaluable to any franchise. I mean, we've seen what LeBron going to a franchise does to the franchise in a positive manner. You know, however you feel about LeBron, however you feel about, you know, him being the GM, you know, lead GM, as people like to say, uh, he still add so much value to whatever franchise he's with, you know, butts and seats, ticket sales, merch, all of that stuff. So what do you, what are your thoughts overall? But anyway, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, follow by the bell notifications, stay up to date with all things sports. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.